Greenberg is a CPA and financial planner. Good to see you, Brian. Good to see you, too. You know, as a money man, you got to be angry here. BP, they just came out and said, look, we made $6 billion in the first quarter. They have $12 billion in cash, and now there's talk of bankruptcy. Is this a re reality here? Well, unfortunately, the events have gotten out of BP's control. Who knows what the extent of the spill will be and its ultimate impact. And what BP is alerting everyone to is the fact that they don't have control and the cost may exceed even BP's assets. Yeah, some analysts say they could file for bankruptcy protection in just 30 days here. That kind of talk is certainly hurting stocks. We mentioned it's trading for just over $5 a share. What would a bankruptcy mean for the company's obligation in this oil disaster? Well, basically what, what it will do is it will hedge what it can't afford to pay. The attorneys will get involved. They'll weigh who gets their money first, who's second, who's third, and ultimately it'll be the attorneys who win in this. Mounting public anger and political pressure, and so, rightfully so here, but their credit rating is now trading like risky yield bonds. What does the company need to do to survive here? <laughs> well, it's, it's at the top of the news, they need to plug that leak. Yeah. And that's the ultimate thing that to get this thing under control. Yeah, but we see all these commercials. They're trying to improve their image. Will that uh, help the company in the long term here? The only thing that's going to help the, co the company is stopping that leak. Anything else is, uh, pr is peripheral. Yeah, this is quite something, losing a lot of money here. I want to talk about jobs. Seven million jobs were lost since 1997. Where are those jobs? Are they coming back? Unfortunately, many of them are not. Uh, many are tied to the construction and the financial industry. And that construction industry ended in a housing bubble. Those jobs will not be coming back, unfortunately. How long is it going to take to get back on track? Well, the problem is the rate of growth. And the rate of job growth that we're encouraging, that we're seeing today, in maybe 2015 or longer until that, until we return to full employment. Yeah, a lot of people looking at the numbers, they say the unemployment rate uh, dipped to 9.7%. Some say that's encouraging. But Brian, as you know, many of those jobs are census workers, and those jobs are, go are going to be going away. They're going away. And what's on the horizon is taxes, as far as the eye can see. We're looking at 25% increase. That's an increase for wealthy business owners next year. They're the ones who hire jobs, who hire people. That's the amount of taxes they will be paying in additional next year above this year. Wealthy business owners, let's talk about the small guys, because right now the lines of credit, they're going away, aren't they? Absolutely. And it's, it's, you hear about talking about the banks don't have the money. Those who got bailed out, are, they're just buying treasury bonds. They're not lending it to people because they're worried about the economy as well. And this way you have, basically, it's a gridlock. Money is not available today. Small businesses are certainly hurting. Brian Greenberg, always good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Same here. And if you're looking for work, check out.